Hello everyone, I am getting started on a very colorful layout. So I am starting off with a picture of Valentina from a party and this wonderful like doily cut file and I'm deciding what paper to back it with because I love them all. And I go between the red and the blue and the orange and the yellow and the blue. <laughs> Just enhancing the colors from her outfit, and I think I decide on the hot pink, even though I love the red the way it looks too, because it brings out the colors in her headband. But I just can't decide, and I was like, ah. And then I tried again, pink, and then I go back to orange, and then I go back to blue. <laughs> we all have these um, dilemmas, because all of them really look good. I mean, any color would have gone well with the color photograph, and I think I decide on the pink, and I take it out. And now, don't get me wrong. You'll see the end result. It's still on pink paper. However, I feel like I should still maybe switch it back to white because I never gave white a shot because um, it's very colorful in the end, which I love. <laughs> now, I'm busting out primary and secondary color cardstock from Michaels, and I am going to take the time and back this cut file. So I definitely want to get kind of like the flower image backed. And I was thinking of doing the whole rainbow, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And I decided to just stick with the red, orange, yellow, green. And then in the little um, open portions on the top of the petal areas, I do do with the blue paper. Even though on some of the pictures it looks like it's almost black, but it's just like that dark royal blue color. And so this takes some time. It's a, it's a, almost, what is it? So it's not like fussy cutting like my last video. This is just also therapeutic to take the time. And what I did was get like kind of a, a stencil of the perfect image that would be covered there. And then I just went to town and cut out like, I think six of each color. And then I was able to just quickly back all of the openings for the cut file. And I'm using my fine liner and just going and doing it. And then this part is the easy part once you've done all the fussy cutting. So that's how I got <laughs> the inner parts cut. So that's how you can see this portion. And then I fast forward a little bit and then you can see me doing the blue-ish portion where the pit, the like piece to cut out the blue portion is a little like, like a wonky triangle as you can see. And then I just use that as a stencil and cut like, I don't know, I think it, like 12 or so needed for the entire thing, maybe more. And then I just kind of go. So I covered up all those little openings and wiped off the glue whenever I had like it poking out. So that's kind of what you see. And I'll fast forward and complete it so you don't sit <laughs> and watch me do all of this kind of part. Um, voila. Gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> And I'm still torn because I really like the orange, but then I'm like, you know what? There's orange in the cut file. Let me just use the pink. I love the pink. Let me do the pink. And then, bleh, look at all that glue. Oh, my God. So I get my paintbrush, and I, no worries. Let's clean it up and use it. <laughs> I think I was a little bit in a rush at that point. <laughs> but um, I make it work, and the dollop gets completely used, and... I go in with the fine liner a little bit to do some of the other areas. Um, so yeah, this is it on pink paper. Now don't get me wrong. What I'm tempted to do is cut it out with the pink showing on the edge of the scallop part and then just putting it on white paper. And yes, I know the edge would be white on white, but I'm kind of feeling that this may just be too much um, color. Let me know. Let me know. Comment so I'm going to matte my photo on black so that it pops off of this very colorful um, background and I'm going to put it on some fun foam so that I can tuck um, little embellishments underneath it. And my title is Mexi Rican and I take the time to do it on my cut file. It's a, I think the font is called Sa Sailor, um, but I could be wrong on that. Um, but Mexi Rican, she is half mine and half Miguel's, and so that's her nationality, and I thought it was a fun one. Then this little kind of embellishment part, the number one, I'm using the Vicky Booten, I want to say it's Field Notes collection, which has tons of little florals and little like sentiment pieces, and the one is perfect, this little bird is perfect. And then that button is from Michaels. I think I had two of them in a pack from last year during Valentine's Day. I do use this Life is Good. That XOXO does not make it. And then I take out a few um, 3D flowers, like fabric flowers from Prima in like orange. And you'll see it on the close-ups. But yeah, what do you think, folks? Do you like it on the pink? Should I leave it and not touch it? Or should I cut it out and put it on a white? background instead. Um, let me know. Always appreciate your feedback. Till next time. Bye.